The election of an African American president resonates with history, and a lot of people are making connections to Abraham Lincoln and Martin Luther King Jr. for absolutely good reasons. I would like to add one more voice to that mix. Remixed. William Lloyd Garrison, an outspoken opponent of slavery, started the Liberator in January 1831 an important voice in the movement to end slavery in this country. The following is an excerpt from his opening words of that first edition. When I asked for volunteers, I did not tell my friends who volunteered for this what the speech was that they were about to read. I gave it to them piecemeal, phrase by phrase, each person getting a different phrase from a different portion of the text. My question is, what creates context? Do we need context for words to be powerful? And if the reappropriated, represented text you are about to view in a new context, in a new time, in a new age, for a new audience, still retains its power, who are we to look to for that? The original writer? Um, the volunteers who did the reading, even though they had no idea what they were reading? It's an interesting question, and it's just for fun. So if you would like to comment um, and create a discussion, please do. Hope you enjoy. Assenting to the self-evident truth maintained in the American Declaration of Independence that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. Among which are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I shall generously contend for the immediate enfranchisement of our slave population. In Park Street Church. On the 4th of July. 1829. In an address on slavery. I unreflectingly assented to the popular but pernicious doctrine of gradual abolition. I seized this opportunity to make a full and unequivocal recantation. And thus publicly to ask pardon of my God. Of my country. And of my brethren, the poor slaves. For having uttered a sentiment so full of timidity, injustice, and absurdity, a similar recantation from my pen was published in the Genius of Universal Emancipation at Baltimore in September 1829 my conscience is now satisfied I am aware that many object to the severity of my language but is there no cause for severity I will be as harsh as the truth and as uncompromising as justice. On this subject, I do not wish to think, or speak, or write, with moderation. No. No. Tell a man whose house is on fire to give a moderate alarm. Tell him to moderately rescue his wife from the hands of the ravisher. Tell the mother to gradually extricate her babe from the fire into which it has fallen. But urge me not to use moderation in a cause like the present. I am in earnest. I will not equivocate. I will not excuse. I will not retreat a single inch. And I will be heard. The apathy of the people is enough to make every statue leap from its pedestal. And to hasten the resurrection of the dead. 